In this reaction we're starting with one bromopropane, so we need to draw that molecule out. We're doing a hydrolysis using hydroxide ions. The mechanism is a nucleophilic substitution. The hydroxide ions act as nucleophiles because they can donate one of the lone pairs on the oxygen to form a covalent bond. We need to show that the carbon to bromine bond in the 1-bromopropane is polar because bromine is more electronegative than carbon. The nucleophile will be attracted to attack this delta positive carbon. The first stage of the mechanism is bond formation using the lone pair from the oxygen of the hydroxide ion to the carbon, which we show using a curly arrow to depict the movement of an electron pair. As this bond forms, the carbon to bromine bond breaks heterolytically with the bonding electrons both going to the bromine atom to form a bromide ion. We show this bond breaking with a second curly arrow. This leaves us with propan-1-ol, which is our organic product.